Hello everyone, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Over there, or there, is John Lewandowski. Depending on what side of the screen you're looking at, he's over there, over there, over there, up there, down there. Uh -huh. Up there, I have three little mug girls eating. I'm just kidding. My three kids are eating in the kitchen, so if it gets a little loud, I apologize. Ahead of time. Um, me and John have plans to go see Christmas lights. So, <laughs> we're uh, working pretty quick today, so... Don't mind us if we seem a little frustrated. Anyway, uh, today the Admirals took on the Manitoba Moose, the last game in their four-game road trip. Um, the Admirals going into this game were on a three-game win streak. Um, where Manitoba was slumping a little bit. So, at this point, let's carry over to Joe. All right, shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots Manitoba 15-10. to 10. In the second period, Manitoba outshoots Milwaukee 12 to 8. In the third period, Manitoba outshoots Milwaukee 14 to 12. And in total, Manitoba outshoots Milwaukee 36 to 35. On the power play, Milwaukee goes one for three with 15 minutes six infractions, while Manitoba goes one for four with 15 minutes six infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 135 mark for Manitoba was Jeffrey Veal, scoring his third of the season, assisted by Tyrell Bauer, his second, and Dimitri Kuzman, his first. And then at the 1408 mark for the Admirals on the power play was Igor Afanasyev, scoring his 11th of the season, assisted by Roland McEwen, his sixth, and Cal O'Reilly, his seventh. Then in the second period at the 14.05 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Mark Del Gaizo, his second of the year, assisted by Igor Afanasiev, his sixth, and Mark Jankowski, his 14th. Then at the 17.09 mark, the Admirals get on the board from Igor Afanasiev, his 12th of the year, on the shorthand, with assists from Jasper Weatherby, his sixth, and Spencer Stasny, his sixth. Or fifth. Also, league leading third shorthanded goal for Igor Afanasio. Uh Then at the 17.46 mark, Kyle Copabiaco scores his fifth on the power play with an assist from uh, Winnipeg Jets first round pick, I believe, of 2020, Brad Lambert uh, and Nikita Chibrikov has 11, uh, Brad Lambert's 10. Uh, then Christian Reichel uh, scores his third with an assist from Jeffrey Veal. Veal. Mm. His fourth with an assist from Chaz Lucius, his eighth. Is it Lucius or Luscious? Is his hair Luscious? Mm. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Um, then Brad Lambert scores his ninth with an assist from Terrell Breyer, or Bauer, his third, and Nikita Chimperkoff, his twelfth. Then Parker Ford scores his fourth with an assist from Jeffrey Veal, his fifth, and Dimitri Kuzman, his second. Then Joachim Kevel scores uh, to bring the Admirals back with him, one, his sixth, with an assist from Jankowski, his 15th, and Livingstone, his fifth. Then Jeffrey Veal scores his an empty net goal. Um, Not a good third period for the Admirals. Nope. They, I think at that point, they look like they were tanked. Yeah. This is why... And, and Manitoba had a little bit more in the tank. Um, I do think that going forward, I think that Troy starts on Wednesday. Yeah, I do too. Tomorrow, a day off. Let him... He, he's, he's, he's played very well for what's happened. This game, the first two periods, take those, those are on Yarrow. That third was not on Yarrow. Yeah. Yarrow, what was it? He had four straight saves and the fifth shot went in? And they were all point blank. None of our defensemen were pushing them out of the way. I believe that was um, uh, Parker Ford's goal. Um, yeah, he had four saves before the fifth shot went in. I was just like, somebody clear the dead crease. Yeah. It was just like, oh. And when you're finally down, you're carrying the puck 
into the neutral zone and then dumping it in and going and chasing it. Look, I'm all for that if you got the lead. If you don't got the lead, carry the puck in. Just little tiny mistakes made. I understand we're a young team. Uh, was not a fan of how uh, Malat acted upon his hit. Um, I thought that the minute he saw LaRue's numbers and started punching him in the back of the head, that was a little overkill. But that's just my personal preference. Um, as a as a guy, if I'm fighting somebody and and they turn their back to me, I understand that's free game and a sign of disrespect. But the dude fell sideways. You turned him and then just started punching him in the back of the head. I'm just not a fan of that. After a clean hit, if it was dirty, I get it, but there was no penalty call. So. Um, just a couple things on my mind. Uh, Yarrow stopped 30 of 35. Uh, Ascari Salmonen stopped 31 of 35. So, at the end of the day, goalies were about even. Yeah. Both really played better than the other. Matter of fact, Ascari Salmonen had a two minute tripping call for tripping Igor, which I did not see Igor in the game after that again. And e Igor would have been used in, in that, so in those situations. Um, I believe we are back, what, Tuesday? With the Preds. I believe so. I don't have my um my uh I, I know it's weird to say this, but my phone is not within arm's reach. <laughs> <laughs> um so Um, all righty. Uh, we apologize for that. There was movement amongst the house. Uh, my kids moved from the kitchen to the bedroom. Um, so to correct ourselves, uh, the we are back Tuesday with the Predators and Canucks. Um, on Wednesday, the Admirals and the Wild. And also Wednesday, Atlanta and Greensville. Hopefully, we can end the slide, Atlanta. Alrighty. On that note as well, um, just a friendly reminder to the current scheduling program, the 23rd, me and John are, that is our start of our holiday time off. Um, we will not be podcasting that day. You will see graphics from us. Unless some monstrosity happens, then which, where it pulls us in, I doubt it. <laughs> and that would have to be pretty major. So, um... At the current moment, to give an update, um, the Wolves are currently beating Rockford. Uh, the Wolves just got Auntie Ranta assigned to them by Carolina. Yep. I have this wonder, weird feeling that um, uh, Kincaid is getting yanked from them and sent to Utica. Um, on the basis of uh, um, them having to have a goalie or have um the veteran rule. They still fall have to follow the veteran rule. Um. Uh, that would be my uh, my assumption. Uh, don't quote me on it, but yeah, that's my assumption at the current moment that most likely Kincaid's either going to get moved or traded or some type of thing. Um, another note, Dustin Wolf reassigned by Carol, or Carol, or Calgary to no, Calgary from the Calgary Flames to the Calgary Wranglers. Um, 
Other than that, um, the Admirals are still sitting pretty nice. Um, obviously, this didn't go how we wanted it to. But, um, you know, uh, when all streaks end, it gives you an opportunity to start a new one. So, yeah. Um, that elusive four game winning streak is tending to be a pain in our butt this year. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, uh, Admirals need to shake this one off. They had a bad third period. Next game. Um, put this one in your back pocket. Watch the film on the way home. Uh, then as soon as you get here, that's the end of that. Let it on to the next one. On to Iowa. Focus on that. Um, I mean, uh, that's, that, you know, that's obviously the, going to be the coach's perspectives too. You know, they're going to, they expect watching. Hi, mascot, Timmy. Let's say hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Hi, buddy. Um, so yeah, there's that. You think I'm a weird? <laughs> Um, anything you want to add to that? I mean, what would, would, I mean, I'm pretty sure I hit the nail on the head on it, but yeah, um, you just got to play better in front of your goalie. You can't allow those soft four or five shot goals. Right. You know, and, and, and that's, I give Yaro credit for hanging in there the way he did. Right. So, I mean, there is that. Yarrow seems to be getting a little more beaten this year physically as well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the next year or so maybe bulk up in size a little bit just because of, of that. Um, last year, we had some guys where we kind of kept people away from him. I, I don't see that this year. So... Um, yes, all of our defensemen returned, but what good's that if, uh, you know, you're sitting there with an injured goalie or injured player? Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, as I said, on to the next one. Um, I'm Daniel Goodwill. That's John Lodowski. I forgot something. Uh, that is. Hockey Locker. <laughs> Toyo 2, West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can follow the phone for 800 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Thank you for watching and have a great and wonderful Sunday. I know us Packer fans aren't. <laughs>